What's good, people? Main Relevant TV here. Let's get straight into it. Men jail for shooting a blank firearm in broad daylight outside of a shopping centre at rapper Young Bane. Now, Young Bane is out free, smiling with women. He's still out on the road. He's still smiling. These men are locked up. Cash taken away from them. Their freedom taken away from them. Now, hold up a second. Let's think about it for one simple second. You see a man that you don't like. You think to yourself, I'm going to open up a pigeon shooter and I'm going to make a loud bang from a way across, way across the road to hopefully scare him, to let him know we bust a gun at him. But hold up a second. We're not thinking we're going to get arrested because it's bait in a shopping centre. But hold up a second. I'm going to take myself out of my zone to go and bust a blank firearm at a rapper now, I can only see this as A man wanted to say They bust gun At a rapper Because had he not got caught It would have been Young Bane got shot at But hold up a second It was not a gun So what happened He got firework Let off at him That's the only way I could see it But these man This is what I tell you You sat there on the road When you got Emotional feelings And you forget yourself And you forget Hold up I got a bit of change I'm doing alright In whatever I'm doing I've got 17 grand in cash Sitting down on Hold up there's my up. Do I really want to do something to him? Is he really important right now? And I'm not going to front. Majority of the time, when you're making money, the up ain't important whatsoever. Unless it's there and then on site and he decides he's coming towards you. So you got to do what you have to do. Like I always say, self-defense is always the best defense. But in this case, I don't know what type of case this is. This is foolishness. This is what I call dumb. And I try and tell you, you sat there. You got to learn from these type of situations. If you're doing something on the road, and you've got other things going on. How is it you let, let a man knock you out your fucking comfort zone. And let a man take you out your pattern. How is it possible? If you're not weak in the brain mentally. Now picture this. They're now sitting in jail. One of them 13 years. One of them 3 years. And one of them whatever other years they're sitting down in jail. With dirty magazines and a Playstation. And jumping up and down for the iPhone in jail. Imagine that. You just had your freedom last week. And now this week you're sitting in jail. Because you let a man emotionally get to your brain. Sometimes crashing out. In fact, all the time crashing out, you will always lose. Especially when you're sitting in jail and the person you tried to crash out on is still on road. It hurts even more. The moral to the story for this one for you youths out there is, who's more important, crashing out on your up or living life and smiling? I say it simply because realistically, it's as simply as that. Remain relevant TV as always. You know, like, share, subscribe. Peace.